Hi everyone, Andre here, back for another episode of Rain Training. This week we're gonna focus on core and hip flexor strength. All right, so we're focusing on core and hip flexor strength here this week. Uh, that's something that's really important for our players. We've touched before on why core strength is important. They use it a lot in battling, shooting. It's really something that they use all the time. Uh, but that hip flexor is actually something that's used a lot in their skating stride. Uh, a lot of people think that it usually is just tight, but it also needs to get strengthened as well. So it's something we want to work in when we're working with our hockey players. So first thing here, we're just going to do a stability ball dead bug hold. So this is core and hip flexor just to start off. So right here, it's just the ball is going to be between your arms and legs. Legs are going to come up in the air and all Bailey's going to do here is squeeze into the ball as hard as she can. And as she's doing, she's focusing on pulling her low back flat to the ground so I can't even slide my hand underneath her back and she's squeezing in. So you just want to build up in time for this. First start with like two, three second squeezes, build all the way up to 20 to 30 seconds. Perfect. I can take that. So next one, now this is called a dead bug. So you're gonna set up in the exact same position here. On the back, legs come up, arms are straight up. And we're gonna reach out with opposite arm and leg and come back in. Now the other side, perfect. And as you're doing this, same concept applies, thinking about squeezing down so I can't slide my hand underneath your back. Good, and you can relax, perfect. On this one, we just wanna slowly build up in the amount of reps that we're doing. And then the last one here, like we would do with our players, we're now taking a movement that involves a lot of core and making their hip flexor work by not letting this mini band move with the leg that's staying. So you're gonna take a mini band, wrap it around your feet. When doing this one, really important that toes stay up towards the sky so that mini band doesn't fly off you. So same setup as before. On your back, arms up straight, legs are up. We're gonna reach out with opposite arm and leg and pull back in. But now this mini band is forcing this other leg to have to resist, working a little bit more on that hip flexor while still focusing on squeezing that back down to the ground, working on our core as well. Perfect, and you can relax. Yeah. So those are some exercises we can do to slowly progress working on not just our core strength, but our hip flexor as well. Uh, it's something that you can do a little bit later in your workout uh, to kind of mix in some core work.